Year's Eve. What can you tell us about the moments before your precious daughter Morgan disappeared? Tell us about what happened. Um, all I know is um, <clears throat> my kids were having a good time. Um, their grandmother surprised them to uh, go watch the fireworks and the concert. Um, later that night, we got a phone call um, that she was missing, <clears throat> that she'd been missing. Um, uh, my mother-in-law got with uh, the police that were there. They tried to search for her, uh, as far as I know. And um, just no word uh, since then on, on anything about her. Uh, I know your your wife is is too upset. She was going to appear with you, and and she's too upset to even appear on camera. I know this is heart wrenching for you. Uh, do you have your extended family around you tonight to 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 help you emotionally? Uh, we have family at home. Uh, they're watching. Uh, they've been very helpful. Uh, I'm so sorry. Well, I really am. I'm so sorry. I know this is so difficult for you and. I it's it's talk. it's I know it's it's the worst possible cousin, possible no. thing. But we we hope. <clears throat> Look, these people are out there. Your your friends and your relatives are out there. Yes, um, my cousin Tell Angie, my uncle, my cousin Angie, um, my uncle Frank. Oh, uh, they're uh, they're helping. Sorry. Um, they're passing out flyers. They started another web page for her. Um, I've had people call me from um, Louisiana. Um, they've got posters out. <sighs> uh, let's go over some of the facts, Mr. Hernandez. Morgan did have her cell phone with her. That's good news. Unfortunately, police say there's been no activity on the phone since she vanished. Police are treating Morgan's disappearance as a missing persons case. Right now, they're saying there's no sign of foul play, which I find really hard to believe because uh, I definitely think this should be considered foul play, uh, especially if the grandmother is saying that she turned around and, and thought she saw Morgan being placed in a mysterious silver vehicle. We have no idea what model, but we just put up a silver vehicle to give you an idea. Uh, Joe Hernandez, senior investigative reporter, t KTRH News Radio. What do you know? Oh, that's right, Jane. This is a very strange case. You know, apparently Morgan was a very good student. She was a very good uh, family member. She didn't have any uh, Internet social networking activities. She didn't have that cell phone, by the way, was her grandmother's cell phone. Grandma reports that she was pushed into a car by a stranger. Why are police still treating this like a missing persons case? It's clear to me that some, some foul play may be involved. Was she taken, Jane? We need to pull out the stops here to find this beautiful 14-year-old girl.